What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to make a procedural stone wall like this. So recently I took this photo. I liked how this stone wall looked. And I decided to make it in Blender procedurally. Because that's where the fun is, right? So if we closely analyze this image, you can see, uh, so we're gonna be making this only this portion. So here, if you observe very closely, you can see three materials here one is this plaster material which have different colors and then these rocks that are sticking out of the, of the wall and at the end you can see this moss so these three materials uh, will use different masks to uh, separate these three materials and they will be able to create this kind of a material. So let's just start it. So here we have Blender opened. So the first step is create a new material called this stone wall. Now, one important step we have to keep in mind is actually it's two steps. First step is because we're going to make these stones sticking out, we have to use displacement and we'll use micro polygon displacement in this case. So, first Let's convert this uh, from supported to experimental and in the material tab uh, under the settings if you look at the displacement option here pump only is selected so we're gonna change it to displacement and pump now the displacement map will shift the actual geometry of display which will create the effect of stones sticking out first I'm going to create the mask which will separate the stone and the rest of the textures. So for this, I will use a Voronoi texture. Then I'll preview this by clicking Ctrl Shift click. So now it doesn't look like the stones. So I'll change it to distance to edge. Now you can see uh, these blocks looks like a uh, kind of looks like stones. So to make it more realistic, I will use a color ramp here. Now we have we kind of have these stones, but if you look at these stones, these are some non-uniform edges. But uh, here you can see the edges are too uniform. So in order to do that, we'll use a texture coordinate node, and we'll plug the object to the vector. Uh, the reason we're using the object is because uh, if you use generated, then it will. So now if I move this uh, it'll stretch the texture but if we use the object coordinate it will not stress the texture so now that we have used the object coordinate the texture became smaller so we'll use a mapping node and plug it right here and I'm going to make scale yeah something like this like it was like it was seen in previous so but uh, now we have uh, these stones but our goal was to create non-uniform edges so we so for that we're going to use a noise texture here then we're going to use a mix node and to color and the mix to linear light let's sit here and uh, let me move this here uh, now I'll place the factor, I'll plug the factor uh, to the B slot. I'm going to decrease this factor and increase the scale of the noise texture and detail. Let's further decrease this factor and uh, uh, we can also decrease this scale of polaroid textures so that we can uh, see lesser stones and uh, I can make it yeah, we can adjust this color ramp so now it more it looks more like uh, these stones so this will be our mask and displacement map for these stones so now we will move this here okay. the first material will be the plaster you see if you look at the plasters it has some small bumps which can be created with noise texture and it has variations in color like here you can see uh, almost black 
grayish color and here you can see a light light brown uh, I'm gonna use a noise texture yeah, followed by a color ramp and slug it into the color and I'm going to use this mapping node the reflector increase the get a detail and roughness I will just pick the color so one color is this one let's pick the bright color by this color well, like this yes one more color from here maybe I can put this color yes so this will be the color map for this master we can make it darker for the roughness and this another noise texture and this same code texture for that to this also in this noise texture I will increase the scale uh, I'm going to use this folder and roughness. I'll use a mix node again, set it to multiply and connect this noise texture to I increase this where you can see this kind of effect. So I will add another color ramp here, make it top. Like this, decrease this one a bit. I'm going to place it in the roughness tab. Uh, maybe it's too glossy, so I'll in make it more white this same map will go to the bump option yeah yeah something like that can increase the roughness maybe okay, here also okay so this is like this uh faster maybe i can maybe i should i should maybe i can make it uh, more darker so this uh this creates plaster material uh, i can make it more black so it, it reflects a bit light yes it looks more like a plaster then we'll duplicate this principal psdf and create another material for the stones so for stones use different color variations using a noise let's add a noise texture followed with a color and the same steps We'll again use this same object coordinate we will create some larger textures let's increase the details and the roughness a bit for a dark one i will use this color right here another maybe this color yeah uh, this gray will be a bit dark we will use another noise texture what is small patterns of these oranges so and we will the mix node set it to multiply okay so Let's duplicate this color ramp here. Yeah, this color will be dark orange color. No, no, no. You can use this as a mask. Let this color here. Let me check how it will work. Yeah, something like that. This will serve as the color map for this block. And we will use the same object coordinate and we will duplicate this again. But now, this time, we'll use another mapping node here and stress this noise texture in this direction. We will use the same procedure. Sample this bluish color from here, get this to the factor. Then yeah, we will use the, the same map with another color ramp in the reference channel. Okay, so I make a bit bit more glossy. Okay, so this looks like nice color for the stones. Yeah, maybe we'll make it brighter. Now we'll mix this two node using a mix shader. Let's use this mask we created as the effect. So now you can see how this looks. I should make the stones a bit bigger. Yeah, like this. now it looks more like stones. But the thing is, it's, it looks like the stones are painted onto here in order to make it more realistic. I uh, will select display. In the modifier step, we'll use subdivision surface modifier. Uh, set to simple and click this adaptive subdivision. Let's add a displacement node here. Let's plug this color ramp to the height. 
the centimeter level to zero. Our geometry is actually shifting, but it's not in the direction we want. The shift point zero two can make the plaster displace too. So from the plaster shape here, we can use another mix load back into this practice into here, and from this decrease the fact we get half of this covered. Maybe we should decrease the stone bump. Maybe that looks better. Maybe in the mask and do some adjustments. If you don't like how your arrangement is looking, then set it to 40 and play with the W value. So we got two materials covered. Uh, maybe we can make this cluster a bit brighter. Now let's move into the moss texture. So I'll create another principal pstf bottom corner i'll use another noise texture plug it into the color ram then the size maybe we should size smaller yeah and we'll sample two colors from here one of it is dark green and one of it is light green this is the color of the moss i will increase the contrast a bit we don't want the moss to appear in the stones only in the plaster area first here we'll create a noise texture or a color ramp. we'll select the area where moss will appear first let's mix this mixture and the moss texture if i directly put this to this factor you can see the moss in this one moss is appearing above the stones as well we'll use this same texture separate color ramp and will use it to in the roughness now i will add a bump bump node right here and add this to the normal now let's look at this final material see how it looks yeah as you can see here the moss is crossing the stone so we'll use a mix node again to color and this uh you can see the stone mask we'll use this in the fact uh should yeah here this is the moss mask and this is the updated version of the moss mask you can see all the stone slots are now excluded from here so now let's see if we can adjust this furthermore so for the roughness i'll use a bit more glossiness so now the moss looks moss looks quite good but the plaster uh, it, look, it lacks the variety in color it should also be a little brighter and slightly desaturated use another pump rod then we'll use the moss mask from here and plug it into this pump and you can see how it's looking where the moss color is a bit too green Every texture is connected to this mapping node and can make all the texture larger or smaller. Another noise texture with a uh, larger, let's use a color ramp and use the same mapping node from here. Color will be uh, bright orange and I will add this here. Let's play with this blending mode. Yeah, let's try soft light multiply no multiply doesn't work invert this yeah. <clears throat> then add soft light no no it work yeah soft light kind of works here so we'll see we like this so if we now review this material the stone you can see the color variation uh, I again feel like uh, now the stones are too dark so let's see what you can do make this brighter this one even more even brighter stones are bright and like this we have completed the creation of a nice procedural stone one if you enjoyed this video then leave a like and subscribe to my channel let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this if you want to download the project file then check out the link in the description see you later